we can't wrap up this segment without talking about Nikita Kucherov, the man himself, saw post-game presser comments. What did you think? So what I, what I say to the people who are angry is you put a guy who has, who, as we found out now, played through a fractured rib, but um, a guy who, well, okay, this will come later. He has just worked his butt off for the last 11 months, including the previous year of the season, and has now won the hardest trophy to win, arguably, in all of sports twice in a row. And he has downed a couple Bud Lights. Um, he's Russian. That's, I wanted to have that later because I think that's less of a factor, but definitely plays a role. He's going to go in front of the mic and say what he wants. And like I said way back when the U.S. did the garbage can thing with Team Canada, if you win, you should be allowed to say whatever you want as long as it's not egregious. So the fact that he makes those comments that Vasilevsky deserves to be the Vezina candidate, the fact that he makes those comments, why is Montreal celebrating like they won the final after they won one game, the last round was their finals. That's fine. They won. They get to talk the talk and walk the walk they deserved it they did it and he was a big part of that and there were a lot of factors playing into that he wasn't his full professional self in front of the microphone and was a little bit buzzed and uh, then we saw some of what Pat Maroon said later on trying to fire the boys up and just it what do you expect if you're going to put him in front of the mic and and I had no problem with it I didn't catch the Maroon comments oh well he uh he was just absolutely in another planet when he went up to the microphone and asked everyone why he was the one up at the mic and not the, the like <laughs> leadership of the team then proceeded to yell at all the fans and players to turn their phones on their flashlights on uh, swore a bunch and then like just got the boys fired up. It was pretty good. It was pretty nice. good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with anything Kucherov said either. I mean, maybe a bit of, enjoying like pouring a bit of ice onto the city it definitely erupted after that game four win and nothing wrong with that trying to fire your own home team up give them some motivation to play but yeah I almost got a bit of like a Michael Jordan mentality from that like okay we're against the whole city like Michael Jordan would like make it personal with one player Kucherov made it personal with an entire city and fan base so if that it's the chip on his shoulder he needs to play with, the edge he wants to have to try and like take the cup home at night. Great. And if he's an honest and transparent enough guy to just let that out in the interview, great. I think very few sports would be harmed by players saying what's actually on their mind more of the time in pressers. So maybe every player should get a little hammered for every post-game conference. I wouldn't go that far, but I definitely agree with the sentiment. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Looking forward to the parade videos. Looking forward to all of the different stories that come out uh, where Lord Stanley's mug will be traveling with the team. But that's going to wrap up the 2021 NHL season.